I swear to God, if they bought YSK in just to play strong side top, I'd be sad. All right, Vampire versus Nikette. This is low key a really go to support matchup. All right, wow, already immediately loads of AP junglers pinched off the board. All right, immediately, what's up, Tristana, Corky, Skana? Is it like the big picks? Ash is a bit underneath that, I think. This league, guys, doesn't play Talia. Other leagues do, so don't expect Talia jungle. So now I would first pick Tristana personally. Skana's fine too. Skana's really good because then you handshake Tristana Corky afterwards. So they don't play Corky AD carry in this league either, by the way. It's really weird. It's really, really fascinating. I might make a video about the differences between leagues because the meta is really different. So there's Tristana. I prefer Tristana as well. AP Jungle or Tristana, Sedge Mao, or, or like Lilia, or like what you're going to do. Or you going to pick up support and Rel and Nort, your flavor of the month. What are you doing? Cassante. They can match top then. Yep. Wow. AP Junglers are really pinched. Are they going to pick Corky plus Lilia? They ever flex the jungle? They never flex Skana to jungle because Skana is just no counters top lane. Now, what AP do you have? What AP do you have if you're this side? What, what do you have now? There's no AP junglers left, right? Morgana? I think Morgana's the last one left. Maokai. I don't like it, bro. I think we're winning draft. IG's winning draft, I think, if they lock Maokai here. I think this is really good. Now, I will say this draft is easier. Okay, I will say Maokai Kasante plus double AD carry is really easy to play. So from an E standpoint, I prefer this draft. But from a like objective, if my team is good standpoint, I prefer IGs. R5 support, I imagine. It's probably gonna be something like Alistair Brom. I, th I think I prefer Alistair here, because it's probably gonna be Nort. It's, um, sorry, Nort Rel, right? And I hope it's Rel. And then Alistair into Rel or Nautilus is great, because it also gives them engage, and I think that's what they need. Ah, oh, there goes Rel, so now they have to pick Nort here, and then they get Alistair. I don't think it's Ziggs. It's not a Ziggs angle, bro. It's not a Ziggs. I think it's Varus. No, Varus Ez? I don't like Ziggs. I don't like Ziggs. Please, no. I don't like it, bro. I don't like it because I prefer Soul AP plus less Merc's value. The, the Vayne, no shot he goes Vayne, right? Novice is... Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. I think their best bet is Kaiser, no? I like Kaiser. Yeah, there we go. Okay! That's Autox. Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, that comp is so easy to play and it's so good. Like, honestly... Okay, so what do IG have and what do they have? Well, they have really standard front to back, right? Front of, standard front to back, quite slow scaling, push in mid lane. These guys, more tower taking potential, and I think they probably have good prior. I mean, Tristana probably has good prior. Yeah, IG has a lot of poke, of course. It's so easy to play double AD carry and front to back team fight. That's what I'm worried about. Ching Tian gonna cook, bro. No one has ever said Ching Tian gonna cook in their life, by the way. This guy is a fraud. Ching Tian's ass. Oh, Ziggs is OP. Like, I will say Ziggs is OP. Can Nenny play a game without running it? True! Oh my god. That was close. I always see the uh, one for one auto trades at level one between Trista, Tristan Corky. And it's always like super close. I think, it, I think it favors whoever's jungler can make a play. Why is the quality so ass? Sorry, I'll turn it up. That's my bad. I forgot to turn it up. Having it engage on a poke comp is really important because you want to poke them out, then punish them and that be able to engage on them after you poke, right? All right, Nenny. Now, I want Nenny to be scared of a potential flash W from Maokai because these trades, I've seen, I've seen things, right? I've seen junglers just punish on these trades between Corky, Tristana really hard because these trades are super volatile, auto for auto. Yeah, there it is. Please do not die to the flash W, Nenny. I am begging you. Don't bait it. Don't, 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 don't flash flash. Oh my god. Guys, I told you. I told you. It happens. Junglers punish these auto for auto trades. And this is why I don't like him trading so hard early. Because his jungler's way less potent early game, right? Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Nenny didn't in. Nenny didn't in. They're getting all the CS under tower. I like it. I like it. They could trade a little bit, no? They have way more sustained diff. Now, the only problem with trading is Maokai's here. Now, Maokai can lane gank or just gank straight up. I'm kind of scared. Oh, fuck. They're dead. They're dead, no? Vampire died for the cause, bud. Let's go! Dude, they 2v3 first blooded. Hell yeah! That's so fucking good. Let's go. As long as he doesn't die now. He took the kill, who gives a fuck, bro? It's first blood. It's first blood, Eddie carried dead. Their wave is ass, I will say that, but he has, Arn has TP to come back fast. So it's really good. Vampire's dead, Arn can TP, they're both in lane. It's super good. Like, it's actually fine. As long as they can crash this. Now, I'm only scared if Maokai can come and stop them. Dude, I'd rather my support secure the kill than not get the kill at all. Because that's like one of those really close situ situations. You do have a cookie if you want to stay. They're not fast pushing, so they... 
And maybe Vampire can hold. So that's why he recalls. If they pushed a little bit faster, maybe he stays with Cookie. Okay, Grubbies are spawning. Now this is the problem with having Corky v Triss, and this is why for the Triss side of things, is that Triss gets prior in every single fucking lane. So, Grubs automatically over. And this is why, like, Grubless Ziggs is kind of sad. Can you steal one with Smite? No, you have no prior. You have to contest next three. Bro, Doggo just broke Arn's ankles. Yo, Doggo is dodging every skill shot, man. Do you see that? Dodge EWQ. Crazy. Just movement. Alright, they're getting ganked again. Now, how will they outplay this one? Level 5, level 5. The wave's pushing to them. IG, you botling. You do not need to do anything. You can block, Vampire. You have Aftershock. You're chilling. You're chilling, right? You're not chilling. You are one shot. You died for the cause. Not much to do. Level 6 hacker already. Do they get Dragon and 3 Grubs? It's really bad. I mean, this is kind of expected, right? Marker can do a lot more early game. I just want Gilfs eventually and his power farming ass to show up. If Gilfs can eventually show up... Oh my god, Arn, you beauty! How did Maokai Q Smite fail? Dude, I told you this bot lane is so goated, man. This bot lane is so good. How much did it smite from? I think, I think Hacker fucked up. Oh, 605. <laughs> and then to 5 HP. Ah, so close. Vampire on my goats. Vampire on my goats. Perma camp doesn't matter. Nice, all for nothing. Guys, I have a question, okay? How would you feel if me and Hysterics casted together for LPL co streams? It'd be less interaction with chat because it'd be more formal thing, right? Well, not formal, right? It'd be more meme but would you like that? Uh, Ultra Prime, I have. Four grubs. It's alright. It's alright. It's not too bad. Duo of Doom not inting. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We've eliminated one risk factor in the inting. And now it's just Gil Gilfs and Nenny. Does Doggo play on lock cam? I remember hearing about this. Is it- was it Doggo? I thought it was- huh. Yo, they might engage on Doggo. Yo, this is kind of a big fight, by the way. They brought five people down, both teams. Can the poke connect? Nickett's kind of chunked. Vampire, you need to catch the engage. You need to catch the engage, Vampire. Catch the Maokai on the hook, bro. Ooh, nice poke coming in from YSKM. They have such heavy range. YSKM with the flash engage, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not pretty. I don't know who's winning. Ching Chan still has ulti. Oh, God. I think IG are wiped. Shit, man. Well, at least... Hacker's still nice. Gil's got a kill. Mm, double dragon, but a losing fight for IG. I think YSKM really trolled, by the way. YSKM really, really trolled. I think his engage was really ass. Also, uh, they tried to set up Ziggs bombs and Ziggs skill shots with YSKM ult. Ooh, Nickhead flashed the engage. But the Ziggs bombs miss. All the Ziggs bombs miss on the YSKM ult, and then YSKM just gets insta-popped. On is out of mana, Jesus. Need to pivot to AP Assassin Alistair. True. True, true, true. Nice. They got first blood turret. This is so worth, by the way. This is so worth. Well played. First blood turret. Good game state. Now, third dragon. What matters now is third dragon, right? And they got first blood turret on Weisskam. Not bad. He's really fed now. Two items. So they have a choice to make, IG do. They can contest this dragon or they cross map topside. You can contest if they think they're strong enough. You guys want the cast with Hysterics? Okay. All right, dragon is spawning. It looks like they're not going to cross map. They're going to opt for a full fight. Now, the problem is they're contesting Rift Herald, right? So Rift Herald can get prio here. Ooh, where are they taking Rift Herald? Down to bot? Are they going to go down to bot? What is happening? This is interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Now Ultra Prime have pressure point bot lane. Vampire's Aftershock. Yo, YSKM, let's go! Dude, YSKM with the clutch engage. Zubion could never, by the way. Did Ching Chen just ult the ulted Alistair? Bro, it's over. That's third dragon. Dude, Zubian could never- Wait, IG's unleashed. IG's unleashed. They don't have a griefing top laner anymore. Three inters was too much, but now it's two. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, that goes crazy, by the way. I will say Nenny's been a bit of an NPC, so has Gilfs, but it's fine. Guys, what did I say? I think IG have potential, man. I think IG have potential. Look at- Guys, look at the YSKM engage here. It's actually so goated. Finds the engage. Flash E. Nice. Now I want to see how he plays on Cassante. <laughs> I don't want to see a carry. 
So the thing is, right, this Maokai had loads of agency early game, but it really didn't convert into anything. Bot lane really absorbed the pressure well. Dude, this is such a good game state. IG just need to chill, guys. IG just need to chill, wait for Dragon, and then it's Soul, and they can play for the poke win con. Because the beauty of this is now they've won the early game when they really shouldn't, and now their poke win condition's online. Muramana Trifle's completed for Nenny as well. So now these team fights they giga outrange. So the dynamic you gotta look for is Ultra Prime have to engage, right, before they get poked out. If they don't do that, then IG default win and get Sol. So I wonder if they're gonna flip fucking Nash. You can't flip Nash though, you can't flip Nash versus uh, Zigzalt. It's impossible. Oh my god, oh, IG's back bro. IG is so fucking back. This is the IG we were promised. This Celestial Opposition from Nikke is useless. Dude, it's so crazy, man. Everyone calls Nikket the next GOAT support, bro. It's a vampire. All right, dragon spawning now, 30 seconds. Knock off the Celestial Opposition, make the engage difficult. You can chunk out Nikket, that's great too. All right, don't, don't poke Ching Tian, it's pointless. Okay, that was a little bit sus. I mean, okay, vampire, you kind of grief there. That's fine, that's fine, no ignite. You gonna ulti vampire? Nice, nice, nice. Now nah, the poke's not really connecting. It's a bit frustrating. Vampire can get healed up here. Gilfs, you're taking all the honey fruit for no reason. Alright, watch the poke, watch the poke. Why is Cam? An Nenny, you gotta land it, bros. Vampire snuck into the pit, by the way. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's a beautiful engage. I don't know what just happened. I think Yukai just sent it. They're the best team in the world. They, they lost all. It's fine, they can get Nash. It's fine, it's fine. You know what? Sometimes you fuck up, you lose to a Q, you lose to a Q smite from Maokai. It's, there's no counter play. But now, you get Drag, you get Baron. It's fine. You lose Soul, that's okay. Yeah, watch in the replay, watch Vampire's flank. And because of this, he catches Yukai who tries to send it as well. Ching Tian fails his engage. You see this? Vampire flanked? I don't know where Yukai's going, to be honest, but uh, we'll take those. Oh, dude, Skarna Q damage. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't out, guys, don't flame uh, Gils for this. Like, you can't outsmite Q, Malkai Q smite. It's just so fucking horrible. But they have Nash now. They have Nash. They can play for the standing gold. It's really good. All right, now, you can send someone to defend bot, right? Does anyone have TP? Problem is, if you TP bot, no, Yukai has no TP, so you can do that. Are you going to cross map, really? Are you going to, like, trade it one for one? Hmm. I guess you give it up and try to look for an engage. All right. Uh, I think they could have defended the cross map Trist and taken what they took, but it's fine. Nix so schlecht. Now push out bot, play for bot tier two, and you're golden. Mid into bot, mid into bot, mid into bot. All right, now mid into bot play, like we said, mid into bot play. Man, they are so giga outranged. IG bot lane, my goats, 100% KP. 100% KP bot lane. Crazy. Dude, IG are back. IG are back. I legit think they're really good, by the way. I legit think they're really good. This group is. And they say Niket's the new and upcoming support! I'm joking, Niket's really good. But, it's so easy to look bad when your team is shit. And Ultra Prime's not a very good team, I don't think. 3.5. Alright, so they're kind of ahead. TP flank coming in from YSK and Vampire starting the fight off early. He ults a little bit late, I think, but then the- Oh, the thing gets cleansed. YSK, you get, better get there fast. I think he's very late on this play. Oh, the one-man ulti. It's a bit scuffed, it's a bit scuffed, it's a bit scuffed. I really hope it's not over. Okay, nice. I think they're too far ahead. I think they scuffed that. That TP from I... I don't like the TP from YSKM. I think it's overly ambitious. It's too far away. It's too far away. Vampire bought a bunch of time, though. All right, Vampire bought a bunch of time with his ulti. Nice one, dude. Guys, I'm telling you, Vampire... Dude, he models himself after On and Hillisang. I am telling you, this is facts. You can see it. Oh my god, it's so Jova. Dude, he dies, he doesn't care. He doesn't care, bro. He doesn't care. Just, yeah, just, just die, it's fine. My team wins. IG are the goats. Why is Kim? Dude, they're back. I'm so happy. Oh my god, they just needed to get rid of one Inter, bro. The three musketeers of Inting topside, they got rid of them. They got rid of one and it was worth it. And YSKM isn't playing carries. They're still playing the same formula. And IG can breathe, bro. IG can breathe. Yo, I'm being called by hysterics. Wait, one sec. Guys, chat. Chat, be good. Be good. I'm being called by hysterics right now, okay? Yo. 
What do we? What do you mean we're casting? But we did you hear oh Vampire? Just one v nine. Did sorry? Did you see them? He did not. He didn't do shit, bro. Bro, dude, I'm telling you. He, no, 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 no. You know, dude, they got rid of one of the inters in topside. It's so drove for every other team in the league, by the way. Dude, do you ever get lost in the source with uh, <laughs> what they can and I can't do. play? It's so funny. Especially game three. Because you're, you're right, like, your brain is telling me, like, okay, they don't pick Corky first because they don't have to. Because IG haven't mm -hmm. banned Corky. They can't pick it. They can't touch it. Ooh. And IG the one trick. Draven. Okay. An Arn specialty with uh, Vampire on Nordigan. Ezreal into Draven is a bit sus. I've always liked Draven to Ez because you get to free scale and eventually stack up um, and uh, cash out really easily. Um, I thought this matchup was pretty bad in the past at the very least, but Ezreal's in a really broken state right now. I wonder if they match mid. Oh, yeah. Um, you have a few options into Corky. You can do stuff like the Yone. Um, that'd be a Nenny classic. Now, R5 top lane is what we're probably looking at. A bunch of blind pick top laners being taken away um, so that YSKM can counterpick them. TF ban, you know, uh, Renekta ban, Camille ban. These all suggest potential Cassante um, as an option. Definitely rises in priority. Yeah, it's banned away, though. I mean, the biggest thing is. Oh, like, yeah. Whoops. Cassante, Scarner banned opposite sides. Oh, that's yeah, a but... lot of top lanes. I mean, there's a lot. Jax is also added into the mix with Camille already gone. Like. I'm What's to crazy think, yo, what, is there's no rumble prior this series. <laughs> True. That's absolutely Wait. mental. This is like the best champion in the game, by the way. It's so it really uncountable. Is. And why is Kim? I don't Bro. think he plays it. But what is your AP option here? I think Morgana is a potential. Zyra and Karthus are already out, so they're not ones. Lilia, I think, struggles with no the range. Cap. You well, say yeah. Morgana, no cap. Are yeah, we actually Morgana? I, I've been talking about this for a while now. It got seen the LCS, the LCK, uh, CL. It's definitely a tier below some of the others, but it's definitely playable. Yep. Um, I think Zyra and Karthus mm. are probably my favorites. Gragas? Gragas playing top lane. Damage? Yeah. Um, so, you still need an AP jungler, I think. Uh, like, a dedicated AP jungler. You can go a tank, I think. And then finally, what do you ping to Gragas? The best options are generally stuff like Aatrox and Gnar, like objectively. But YS Games Pool, that's not him, right? He's not a he's not an yeah. Aatrox Gnar player. He, they... he, dude, he is a, he's a... Dude, he B1 Fiora in PCS, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying... Yeah, I think uh, Fiora... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this Yo, is this so... Is that... <laughs> Tell me about it. What does this Fiora look like? His Fiora is fucking great. He got away with it B1-ing it in PCS because I think no one could play top, to be quite honest. Okay. Apart from, like, rest and uh, that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. And so, bro had jungle attention all the time. And I feel like when you've got Nidalee and Graga, surely we're talking about top lane, yeah? Yeah. Like, we, we should we should just be looking at folks, because if you're a false flight, that comp is useless. Actually, wait. Bot needs yeah, attention. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was going to say. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I think YSKM plus Arn is a very dangerous dynamic, right? Arn... Draven main, and they like to play for bot lane on this team as IG, but then you're also adding Fiora into the mix. What could happen here is Fiora could be just left to isolated scale, right? Uh, and just left top lane to farm up. That is very possible. You don't really want to gank for Fiora because she doesn't have that much uh, setup, but you do want to bail her out a couple times, so maybe one or two visits top lane at most. You still should pay attention to bot side, though, I think, for the Draven. Yo, okay. All right, we're in. Um, I'm not doing the next, next game. If this goes to an another series, uh -huh. uh, another game... I might have to dip out because I gotta leave the lane. That's all good. We're, just, we're test running it, right? Yeah, I think we got a lot of scaling in the mid lane. Um, Corky's gonna auto him a bunch with the E and farm first strike, but you're gonna sustain up with the fleet forward and the absorb life in the second win. So mid lane's a bit of a dead lane. Um, top lane, isolated scaling, I think is realistic. We've already talked about that matchup. And bot lane is where my eyes are at. I think these champions down in bot side can be extremely powerful. If the trades go either way, they can set up ganks. You see Brand pathing to bot side after that full clear. If they are chunked enough, Ultra Prime could get ganked. But probably just a slow early game. Pussy gets that anyway. Level 2 coming in for IG immediately. Yep. I mean, tell me they're not the goats. Tell me oh they're not the goats, God. by the way. They are so good! They are Holy. so good. They have not lost a lane in the past three series. I am telling you, they always win. If you just yeah, watch this bot lane. Arm. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, it was Vampire's fucking... hook! He walked up! Yo, first blood for driving that is a fucking disaster already. And, yeah. uh, you, what's the disrespect with not playing towards Draven level 2? That's true. Immediate prio. I think the thing is, though, Ezreal, like, level 1 is actually really, really strong. Ezreal, most champions in the bot lane don't get as strong as a passive as Ezreal does, so he can contest a little bit. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Still, yeah, that level 2 was brutal. So much vision down bot side in that river. You can see the Scuttlecrab taken and the ward in towards mid lane as well. Why is Chem? Chen is out of mana. He should be fine here. It's a good wave state. If Chen recalls now, he'll have to TP back and why is Kim to stay and then capitalize on that. Even at 6, isn't there like a massive outplay? Isn't it a massive skill matchup where Wisecam just press W's on the ult and Gragas can't do anything? 
Yeah, right. I mean, there's a whole mind game. There's so much CC that's somewhat telegraphed, right? And there's also, like, unpredictability in an E-Flash, for example, from Gragas. Um, but generally, this is where Gragas starts to get quite strong and impressive. Um, after this recall, and once he starts getting points in Q, he has three points in Q now, right? Um, the barrel damage and the poke starts becoming extremely frustrating when he has infinite mana uh, with items like the tier and the lost chapter, so. The, the biggest thing about this game so far, though, is IG's early game has been pretty mint. It's yeah. not just through bottom side winning out through the level two, the disrespect from uh, old mate down bot, but more so the fact that IG soul lanes are doing pretty well, uh, even this mid lane. Maybe down yeah. a couple of CS here for Nanny, but... Uh, Bro, early gold is looking hell good for this top. Yeah, so my, my biggest criticism with IG was that one of the three top side would always in, and you don't know which one it was, right? You wouldn't know. It would be either Nenny Gilfs or uh, Zuyan in the past, but now they've eliminated one of them, right? So the odds Great. of someone inting is so much lower, and it makes it so much easier for bot lane to carry. Uh, it, it's really satisfying. Mm. Not saying, I mean, Zuyan was not No, not he was ideal. terrible. <laughs> Did you see his scar? <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh was my god, that A guy. pain on the eyes. What? What's the play? Face check? Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Uh, uh, okay. Guys? <laughs> on a ward? I mean, the Do ward we died. We're on a ward. No, it hasn't. Mm. Interesting. Well, I respect yep. the optimism. Uh, have we kind of worked out, like, Fiora bots are like, they're opposite each time, right? So if it's like on the right side, next time it's going to be on the left. There right, is a pattern to it, and it has been talked about by Fiora mains at a really high level, and I have not learned that yet. Potent was tweeting about it, so if anyone wants to learn about the, 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 the uh, pattern and how it works, in general, it's RNG, and you have to get lucky. Um, oh, yeah. But there is a pattern to it, and I'd have to, I'd have to look at what Potent's tweets were, just to remind myself. TP is almost up for IG's team, so after this fight, they can potentially TP down and hold bot, but it looks like Wirescam is actually just going to go catch. Now, TP from Corky could come out, and they could be a 5v4. I'm a little bit worried about IG here. Well, there it is. There's a TP. Get on out because grubs are going to go down quick. Okay, there's depth charge onto Nike T again. Ooh. Fate still gets back on though. A two man. Nice from Nani. Vampire gets bopped though. And no. Even after burning his flash, he's out of there. Ching Tien takes a kill. Grubs are denied. And five over to the side of Old Prime, as you said. Risky for IG. Yeah, that was a disaster, right? So what was happening is that IG don't have their TP up for grubs, right? So they were sending someone to catch bot wave, but it was a huge dilemma. Yukai had TP and IG didn't. So I think they just had to sack bot. Uh, minions and send five people to these grubs. Unfortunately, they do a split call of catching bot and contesting grubs without teleport and it, it bites them. Ah, a death for my goat. By the way. Now, crucial things across the map that are happening right now. They have no grubs and that's fine. I actually have one. Uh, but the Ravenous Hydra essentially means he's infinite HP as I might have to hold that many. It's a lot yeah, of damage here. He's actually getting clean. Good sidestep. Yo, Uekai. Yeah. Actually cleaning him a bit. Bro, both side laners. Yeah, both side laners have infinite lifesteal, by the way. Lifesteal on both champions. Versus mana. That's kind of the dynamic, right? So eventually, IG are going to win out on these side lane plays and bleed out the enemy top lane, uh, enemy turrets rather. Right. It's quite a nice dynamic. It's quite a nice, interesting dynamic. True. Abusing it a Ooh. lot. Bro. I think he can go for a he can go for a demolish proc here if he can get the wave in. But nah, it looks like the wave plays too much. You can see how the life steal is doing work, forcing a recall from Corky because he just can't match in terms of mana bar versus HP. So. Yeah, side lane's winning for IG, and I think this is going to happen for a long time. Wise Cam is a little bit low on mana, but it has TP to get back if he wants to reset now. But at least for the time being, is IG were the ones who invade in top. Ultra Prime, their response is Herald. Now, I'm not yep. sure what the bounce back, what kind of happened, but like the fact that Ultra Prime Ooh. once again get another objective outside of this dragon with the five grubs already is kind of big. Oh, Ultra yeah. Prime. Ooh, that cancel. That was kind of juicy. Uh, IG frauds. I mean, it's uh, IG frauds. Throughout this split, you know, their support has been lackluster. I think been the biggest problem for me. Okay, true. Um, yeah. What yeah. team do you support? <laughs> no, no reason. It's probably top esports, bro. Okay, well, I can't flame top esports. I like them. Damn it. You can't. You're, so I fucking can't. Good, bro. <laughs> You're just a glory hunter, good. man. All I'm right. not though. Bro, I I support Jackie Love. You support G2 and top esports. <laughs> no more man has completed for Ultra Prime, so I think it's relatively contestable, but I think my eyes are on Draven, right? He still has 450 stacks. If he dies, I think that's a game boomer. So, eyes on arm. I mean, he's the best here in the team, I'm telling you, as Teleport <laughs> comes on in. Yo, who's that? Nani comes in. Wires came from the other side as well, looking for Uekai. Ooh. Four members in River of IG. Flash is already burnt, I believe, 
On the other oh. side, Vampire gets an engage in. That's nice, but the solo player is even nicer. Jinky Ooh, the flashes. He body slams. He doesn't get it. Arn also catches him, by the way. Your worry now dismayed as Ultra Primer on the back of the pit have to get on out. Where some of the engages were clean, and Ching Tien not finding anything in the back line while Arn catches in. I mean, Game Boomer on the other side. IG's got everything. Yeah. Super nice reactions coming in from the carries on the side of IG. Did you see them both flash the E flash from Gragas on the side? Yep. Ching Tian the entire time was touching in the flank. YS came on the other side as well, but in the end, nice one shot onto Niket and they win the team fight. Super well played. Uh, let's watch his inventory. I think that'll be fun. But yeah, take a look at watch Ching Tian on the side and watch the flashes from Arn and Nenny. It's super excited. It might have been Arn and Gilfs, actually. Oh, fair. I actually think that was just a Ching Tian fuck up. That's fine. <laughs> 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 Regardless, we hype up, we gas up IG. IG are smurfing. And uh, oh, nice yes. secure the dragon. Soul point secured for IG. A full IE completed off of that after BT. That is nutty alongside Boots tier 2. Wow. Now they can play side lane in this downtime between dragons. I want to see them play for bot lane tier 2, top lane tier 2. They can play full side lane. They have so many items coming in. And they have mid push as well because of just how strong that Draven is. Look at those item completions compared to the Ezreal. Ezreal's in a huge power trough now. I feel like Azan runs through mid though. Uh, Ultra Prime. Their advantages are falling few and far between. Oh no, this Arn. Time. It's good though, and Arn getting caught out. It might mean something. Gives a bit of gold and a shutdown over to Doggo. He didn't lose too many of the cash-ins because he didn't have yeah. any to begin with, so at least something. Unfortunately, the damage comes in onto Doggo, but the shielding... Was that a barrier? That was a barrier. He, barrier. he was he so scared, one versus through. five, that he <laughs> barriered. Uh. I mean, dude, that's just Arn's aura, bro. Bro, you've got two side lanes, you've got a lot of threats. Grub's probably the only thing that's saving the sides of the map from burning down as quick. Ooh, no. Well, the IG core might get caught out. Solar player's there. There's a javelin, there's a true shot barrage. Range comes in handy. Hacker chases down the jungler, gets him. Meanwhile, in comes Arn. He's an absolute magnet of a fridge. Chinky ended half HP as well. Wirescam gets zoned out. Uekai's there. Running onto Arn is good, and a good spear toss as well, but it's still all trying to get a pick again at the cost of Nike T's life as Doggo sidesteps. It's always double AD carry, right? It's always double AD carry. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if they found one more pick onto YSKM, then they just insta started up and one shot it. Nice ult from Nick out here. Nike T. Finding the pick. Unfortunately, the ulti onto Leona from Nenny isn't that great. Hacker kind of gets grieved a little bit by Ching Tian's ultimate, kiting the brand out a little bit, but Arn mm. can't do DPS. These fights in the mid game, IG kind of slacking a little bit, playing around mid lane. I think they're having a lot of trouble playing around the Draven push. They could cross map top tier 2, but I think it's just being held by Jing Tian, right? So they might look for a TP in with Nenny. I think they could fight it. I think they still have the angle. If they wait too much longer in terms of scaling, the poke wind come from up might be a bit too big. Maybe. Okay. Welling Death comes through. Death charge onto the UK. Look at what Oh my god, the damage. The Randolph is mega. Holy. <laughs> what? Right, and Nenny comes in just to get kill credit. He did nothing. <laughs> fight still did nothing. Nenny 1v9. Holy, bro. How is he 1v9ing that brand? Oh, absolutely slap. He misses that. Looks for Hacker. He sidesteps, gets it in the end, and he cleans up the rest. Bro, Gilf is Gilf. the grandma that I would love to face in solo queue. He, uh, <laughs> he presses R and one-shots the entire enemy team. I've had that happen to me in solo queue so many times. From a res relatively sleeper performance in game one and most of this game, I feel like, that was a super clean fight, I think. Coming in, and now they're getting a secure drag. Baron off of that. Bot lane tier 2 can be hit as well. That should be a dead tier 2 as well. Wow. All right. Yo. When it matters most, IG. Oh, the best team it. in the world. Yeah, I agree, man. Right. It's, it's crazy. Can, IG aren't out. Still, because they can get top group? Also fraudulent. Nice! They can still make it. Because if they beat Ultra Prime here, it depends I on like, Ultra Prime's next games. But, yo, I think they Tell me will. you're not convinced, um, like, at least slightly. Like, tell me you're not convinced I mean, even slightly. The team's not that bad, right? And Vampire's definitely less worse than he was on EDG. <laughs> okay? Definitely less worse. He, they 2v2 so. killed Bot. They 2v3 last yeah. game. How, they win every lane. They beat Kale Hope. Like, they beat everyone. Genuinely. Bro, they're not bad. I mean, look, even the rest of the team. Nani is one is person I'd be That's about. fine, yes. Yeah. That's, he was a top laner, to he be was. fair, he's gone from top to mid. And the problem is, he so, can only play top lane champions. His best performances are on Renekton and Yone, and he creeps on everything <laughs> else. Did you, do you remember his Galio game versus Rook? Man, that was... Oh, yeah, yeah. 100 Bro, CS in 25 been, minutes. I will never forget that guy played a Rise top game and went like 0 yeah. to 10 or something. Because of the Baron minions, his, his barrels really don't do any damage. Luckily, Baron just faded, but realistically, not too much can happen. 
Oh, Ooh, where's the cask? Player. Okay. Ooh. Also gets away. Flash too. True Shot Barrage does damage, but not really that much. It was yeah. also a uh, grand challenge issued, so ult for ult really in the end. So they're trying to commit lots of numbers to make up for the fact that they're losing sides and fighting gauges. Right, but then they're just going to bleed if those engages don't work out, which they're not now. And the infinite sustain means that even that engage and that heavy chunk of the wise game doesn't matter. Everyone inside, you're going to heal up like 400 per proc. So now it's going to bleed out sides. Right, the four members here, that's super easy. Yep. Isn't it? Nani doing the same thing. I mean, oh, Wave dead. is pushing in now, just reset. And yeah, sticking around is a big mistake. Yo, yeah. it's rare to say. I think the best player of Ultra Prime is definitely Mr. Nike T. But he's, he's like, I mean, he's just outclassed, right? I think the the, the uh, everyone hypes him up as this promising. <laughs> everyone hypes him up as this promising rookie, but two games in a row, I think I think Vampire has uh, shown that he's the one people should be keeping their eyes on. He's the player that is going to oh be the up and coming support uh, that the LPL top course. team should look for. Of course, bro. Of course, you said that. You're crazy. The believers bro. will rise up. Yeah, I mean, have look, I bought you in? I'm not I'm not going to disagree. I'm not bought in. I'm kind of there, but like, I'm definitely not bought in. The thing is, On was the same. I agree. On was this yeah. player who was absolute. Dude, yo, On was always off. It was crazy. That guy was. On Sooning, I thought that guy was trash. So you're right. You're actually right. The arc is there. Maybe Trust when me. I think someone's trash, they're going to be really good. Zwayan. Zwayan. All right. Yeah, it's Zwayan for sure, bro. It's, I also know that English broadcasts were saying Zwayan or whatever, and I was just. I was confused about that. Yo, why is oh, no. 1v2 this? 1v2? What? 1v2? No, the Zonyas. Oh, no, never mind. No, not Yo, quite. the Zonyas is clutch. Yo, they're going to get Elder, though. IG double TP from Ultra Prime turns into a fate sealed on the back end, and Jungler just taken out. Oh, the ult is huge! Now got Elder. The brand ult would have oh, been bigger if they all went together, but they went down TP to cut them off of the pass. Nani can move into this. Yueka and Ching Tiena. One of them is going to die. The question is to who? Or maybe Nani just can't take it on. Uekai is taking him on. He flashed away. Bro, I will say, I take a little bit of a back. The fact that Uekai just ran into an Elder Yona is kind of boring. <laughs> it, was, it was a good play. Finding a pick onto side lane and transitioning that man advantage into bot was really, really good from uh, Ultra Prime. But I think at the end of the day, they're just so far behind. Everything was whiffed from yep. uh, IG. That wasn't a clean fight. But the Mountain oh Soul, God. I think this is looking like a game siege. Well, yep. maybe going to turn into a Baron instead. But the one shot from Nenny, who's been playing really well this game, by the way, is nice. Buys a bunch of a space. Vampire doesn't die with the flash. And it's just Wait. a cleanup duty after that. Wait. Wait, does he die Wait. from that HP? No Wait, shot. Did he die? Does the no. burn keep proccing the elder? Is that the interaction? Wow, that's broken no, on Brad. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <Bro>, what? <wait. laughs> really? <laughs> okay. An interaction I haven't seen that much of. The fuck oh my god, was the damage. That? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a half HP to... <laughs> wow. A clean 2-0, like everyone predicted. Clean 2-0. Yeah, bro. Yo, IG aren't... I mean, when I say out, I mean... IG on what? They're not out. Okay, I thought you they're, said they aren't bad. They're not out. They're, well, I don't think they're... I don't know. Maybe they're scaling into the season. Jing Tian's about to die. Oh, there's there a one-shot. Clean from Arn as well. I mean, Vampire getting a hook in is good. They all just collapse. Here comes Nike T again. And Arn, bro, the best player of this team, is stepping up big, bro. Gilts is scaling. YSKM is back. The Vampire hits hooks now. And IG are not a bad team. Maybe. <laughs> I think you, ha you are selling them short. And you're disregarding just how well they played in game one as well. They are looking consistent. I love their new identity. They're putting Gilts on these AP carries. I think he transitions into the mid game really nicely. Loads of game winning plays down bot side in terms of the 2v2 and 2v3 in game one as well. IG are looking pretty good, man. I'm just saying, I think they get into the top tier group. And if they go into the bottom group, if they choke versus um, whatever team they're going to play against, I think they can roll that group as well. True. I mean, I, I think <laughs> if you're talking about other bottom tier teams like TT. Yeah, I think they clear, like, no? It's so not yeah. even. I'm trying to think like OMG, current OMG. It's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. RNG. Uh, RNG. Yo, even if it's like a WE, I think they might go hard against WE. Yeah, I, I, they might scale into the season. It's crazy. I think the YSKM slot in is exactly what they needed. They just needed one more lane, which didn't int. Yeah. Zweyan, or however you pronounce it, like you said, Gilfs and yeah. Nani. One of them was going to int, and now YSKM is eliminated. Only two of them are going to int. When they don't, this team is insane. I think I think we should set up like one or two days a week to just consistently yeah. cast. 
Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, why not? I mean, why not? I mean, I think Mark is right. Mark said that. Mark said to me for his for your chat and my chat. They said to me. He said to me. He said we should be casting together because on the off days of broadcast, like yo, there's also you got to remember there's heaps of other coasters. Your chat. What do you? And you can still coast stream while casting. It's obviously just more effort, and it's just I don't know. A chat. What do you think? Experience. Do you do you like casts? So yeah, I agree. Man, that was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Especially when it's like teams we like. We could, we could, we fucking uh, cast IG in top esports. <laughs> True. A hey, banger. All yeah. right, all right. We Wait, done? So we done? We good? I, I'm, I'm going to language lessons. Yeah, <clears> I, I got to get ready for that. I'll fucking, I'll raid you so that. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. I'll leave you to it. I'll leave my chat there. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thank you. And all right, um, see you later, yo, we can We can try and cast tomorrow or something. I'll Hell yeah. We'll talk about it. No yeah. gym today. No gym today. That's fine. Bye. 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 Oh, he's gone. All right, lads. That's me done. That's me done. I'm here every day for co-streaming, except tomorrow. I cannot co-stream tomorrow because I'm doing LEC uh, meetings all day, but I stream every other day. So if you want to keep up with that and when I'm live, I like to do very educational, analytical stuff on co-stream. Uh, I'll announce on my Discord when I'm alive, but after tomorrow, I will be streaming again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later, lads. 07, 07. You guys are cute. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.